What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Movie X Kicks, and I'm about to do the review of the new movie, Dune. Now, you're going to have to give me a couple of uh, minutes to kind of acquiesce to this kind of difficult kind of plot. Um, I just left from seeing a screening. Now, the movie does come out October 22nd, which is next Friday and does premiere on HBO Max or in theaters. Um, I would highly suggest seeing it on HBO Max and not wasting your money. Um, now, the story of Dune basically is from a graph, I mean, a novel that was based in 1965. Now, this Dune is basically considered one of the, a classic. Now, it has implements of basically a lot of movies that we know from today, as far as like Blade Runner, uh, Star Wars, have taken adaptations and bits and pieces of this Dune novel and made it into their own. Um, so Dune is kind of almost like the grandfather, if you will, to a lot of these movies, what they've taken from it. But the adaptation they did to this movie did not kind of kind of flow like I wanted it to flow. Even though going into it, I never read the book and I had never seen the original movie. Uh, I know that's kind of like a, a downer, but I took my mom's best friend who is an avid Dune person. She's read the book, she's seen the movies, and she was a little disappointed, and she was like, good thing you haven't seen the originals because you have been totally confused. Right. Timothy Chapman as, as Paul Atreus. Paul Atreus is, Paul Atreus and his father are, are basically given stewardship of the planet of uh, the Spice. Spice is the essence almost of life. It gives superhero, superhuman abilities and also powers their spaceships. It's the main thing that kind of guides the economics of their world. Basically the um, only planet that harvests spice. Now while on there, once they get there, they start realizing things aren't as, as they seem. They're almost set up to fail. Um, the planet is guarded by a huge worm and the worm that protects the spice can kill anyone who tries to basically kind of harvest it. And on, on top of that, they have to deal with an enemy that they used to kind of be over, they used to be overseeing that and the enemies come back to basically kind of wipe out Atreus and their family. Now, now, this movie, I have to say, it, it was disappointing. Now, they say it's kind of, going to be kind of hard to kind of represent and recreate this movie, as, excuse me, recreate this movie um, from the, 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 the 1965 graphic. Now, it had a couple, now, it, this movie wasn't all bad. Um, visually stunning shot movie. Uh, shot well, uh, the cinematography, the action scenes were very good. The actors actually were good. Josh Brolin, Dave Bautista, John Momoa, um, and uh, they all did, ex this, they did an exceptionally well job even even I the Timothy uh, the the guy who plays Paul Trace did an amazing job. Um, now the downside I will say was the movie dragged on. Now and it was two hours and thirty five minutes, and it, actually this movie is actually part one of part two. That's one thing I didn't know. I thought I was gonna we were gonna be in and out and see the entire movie and be done with it, but apparently the, <laughs> that this is just part one. The downside to this movie was the plot of it it just cut kept going up and down and there was no good sequence of pace like it just kind of kept lagging and it's like they could have chopped off a good 30 minutes of this movie and you probably still would have been okay but i get this movie is such a uh it's such a kind of a it's such a, a deep plot and they really want to get all the kind of uh, characters kind of their own central story ideas behind them I get that but the way they run about it it just was just so boring I'm not gonna lie like it was it, it got to this point I'm just like uh what what is going on and then on top of that Zendaya wasn't really in any part of the movie for the last literally 15 minutes of the movie she's in throughout the whole movie through visions and things of that nature but she's not realistically in the movie until the last few minutes. Now, like I said, keep in mind this is part one. So, but part two hasn't been greenlit, and I'm not for sure if they're gonna be able to make the bank from this movie back. Um, because, like I said, it was a little bit disappointing just the ways that they went through. A lot of things that were kind of re recreated in this, from my knowledge, was just kind of totally ass backwards from the book. This is almost instead of the original, this is almost like a retelling. And the director's image, which to me didn't come out well. Um, I was very bored. Um, like I said, I don't know if I would go see part two if part two came out. Uh, we'll just have to see. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, I hate to ruin that for you guys. But, you know, um, 
This movie does come out next week, so if you guys are want to see it, you're more than welcome. I would suggest watching it at home, HBO Max for free, so you don't have to spend any money on it if you do have HBO Max. So if you guys like uh, movie reviews, TV show reviews, sneaker reviews, think about subscribing to the channel for like you saw, please give me a like. Oh, I highly appreciate that. Until next time, guys, when we get this out, uh, drop those comments and let me know once you guys do see this movie. Like I said, I did see a super early screening of it. Um, not too many people have seen it just yet, but once you do see it, drop some comments.